What is up, people? Half Slab Bacon back with another episode in Bacon's World. So, guys, I've been doing a little bit of the stuff and things off camera. That's right. Wachow. You can see some light over there. Yeah, that's because I'm starting to, you know, fine tune things a little bit. And I figured it's about time we got a proper walkway in here because. In the coming days, I want to finish this off. I'm kind of a little bummed out, to be honest with you, though, guys. That is going to be an issue. We're going to have to figure that out. But no big deal. Not the end of the world. We'll figure it out. But I'm kind of bummed out because I would, like, this down here looks really good, right, people? Like, well, you're just seeing it against the plain wall, but you can already see the... Once we get it all decorated and you see what I have in store for it, it does look really good. But those new terracotta blocks, man, the black one with the red in it. Don't you think that would look good here? And then I'm stuck with all these nether brick or nether port that I can't use. So I don't know what we're going to do here. I, I don't know. It's going to be a thing. We might have to try both. I want to get this done. I think we'll continue with this until we get, you know, 1.12 stable. There's no redstone or anything that makes me really want to change. And building blocks die. They could change so many times. But I do want to get this polished. So we'll probably, we'll stick with that for now. And we're going to run that hallway get it decorated and get it hooked up with this so i really wanted to get this in did that witch live no she died also guys you know we're getting to the point where it's time to start expanding the base and look at like our ultimate villager trading station stuff so i mean naturally we're gonna put like path blocks in i guess i could eat path blocks in and like continue that kind of thing over here and stuff but I wanted to start branching this out so I basically dug from both ends till I found cave and then used them so you can see like we've got little areas like that that you know we'll probably just put flowers and stuff in and then you know this works out I think this comes to a dead end it does but I believe this is the dead, I think this is the dead end. I was pretty sure I was hearing mobs. Maybe it's in the other one. Yeah, it must be the one of these that I'm about to show you. I was hearing mobs, so we're going to have some more caving to do. It's going to... No, see, it was this one. It was this one. Yeah, they're in here. See? Oh, hi, guy. We've definitely got... Is that a dead end? No, that opens right up. Oh, you know what? Are you a villager? You are a... You are a villager. You just... You hold on to that block and don't T-spawn. So we're going to have some caving to do and we're going to extend this. Like, that's kind of the point to use the natural caves to try and determine some of the shape. And then we got... I had totally forgotten about this, but all the way down here. And this is quite a ways out, but... Yeah, I don't think this goes anywhere. This is a dead end. But we got a skelly spawner down here. Now... I must have found this fairly late game because I left an iron ingot and 50 slime balls. So it can't be that important. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, I even left bones and string and stuff and an iron bucket. But, you know, we could use stuff like this. Like, let's say we're at 16 and what's the distance here? So 78. 16 and 78 so 16 block radius let's just i'm pretty sure we're way out here oh yeah we're way out way out but let's say as we continue this if we find we're in range because that's 
31, so we're 15 blocks right there. And yeah, so we're like, well, we're close. You know, we could use it and like bring them up whenever they're range and drop them on magma blocks and kill their faces just for something cool to walk by. You know what I'm saying? But we'll use little alcoves like that to hide stuff. I linked this up here again. We've got a path block at all. But come down here and you longtime subs would know I love these natural rooms. We kept the one that was like this in the jungle base shaped and we just re terraformed it to look different. And like then we got, you know, we could do something stupid like glass this in, make it all dark so we had mobs dropping on our head. Um, this over here, believe it or not, that is underneath the other one. So we could put an elevator back up that way, like so much stuff we can do. Oh, this is a slime chunk too. I'm not too happy about that. Everything's a slime chunk around here. Just spawn in my farm. But then we've got this over here. I'm thinking, I can't even remember where this goes down somewhere. You can see like there's our bridge underneath it. I think this goes dead end, maybe? Yeah, dead end. So, but you know, we can use this or we can close it off somewhere over here. If we don't have a use for it, just put some water down it to make some cool decorative area. But down here, like, I don't know what we'll do with that. I thought I saw grass, weird. But this is definitely like, I think this is going to end up being somewhere that we probably put our villager trading. Because you notice we're not getting any status effects up in here right now. So this is probably where we're going to put our villager trading because it's far enough away from definitely our village. Yeah. And then, of course, this comes back out here. So, you know, as we grow the base, we'll go out in these directions and add more cool stuff. I just moved our little walkway over here until, you know, we get to this. It'll come in bits and pieces, like we still need a snow farm out here. Oh, and I redid this too. I wasn't, I wasn't feeling it coming out this way. So I kind of worked on this a little bit. And now we just, you know, we sidestep up in this early direction to feed the bunnies. What the? I'm seeing stuff today, guys. I think I'm working too much. And yeah, we'll have along all those paths, lots of little cool stuff like that. Where the heck did he come from? You saw that, right? Oh, where'd you spawn? Seriously. Where'd he spawn? What the? Um. They've all got the things. I guess they could spawn on these occasionally because technically I do believe it's a bug that they're uh, not supposed to be able to spawn anymore. I don't know if my Mojang's going to leave it that way, but it was the result of a bug. So, we'll see what happens. Dude! Yeah, suck it. Holy cow. Oh, it might be social spawning. Ha! Yeah, it's social spawning. Anyways, so I'm gonna continue like more and more of this stuff off camera, guys. Oh, by the way, look, we're up to 17 rabbit's feats already. And, should we do it? Like, look at... It's insane, guys. Let's just go ahead. We'll check that in a sec. Anyways, um, what I really want to do, guys, is like I mentioned that we got those 1.9 blocks over there. Or 1.9. Yeah, 1.9. The wart stuff and things. You know what I mean. And I would like to um, maybe switch that up to something 
a little more 1.12, right? So in order, ooh, no, we're gonna take a bunch of these with us. In order to do that, the thing is all those 1.12 blocks, if we're gonna get start, like those are terracotta, so that's no big deal, right? But if we're gonna get into using the concrete, that's a lot of gravel, the stuff here, and a lot of sand, which I think we already know I can't keep my freaking hands on because all this glass. So guys, guys, this is, this is an important moment. We have to have a chat here. Some people think this is cheaty. So this is the point where I remind you, Minecraft is a sandbox game, which means you play it however the heck you feel like it. And I personally think this is not, well, it's kind of cheaty, but I'm going to do it and we're going to go, we, we, we need a sand generator, guys, not like the little dragon egg duplicator I made. I'm talking like a sand and gravel generator that pumps out thousands of blocks an hour. Because if we're going to use that concrete and we're going to end the flower forest too. I don't want to have to be going out and mining tons of sand and gravel all the time. Okay. I don't want to do it anymore. So, for the one I have in mind, we need a stronghold. So, we're going to go on an adventure with the rest of today's episode. Now that I spent 12 minutes showing you what I was up to around here and just kind of talking. Yeah, we're doing it. It's a thing. I need more Blaze Farm or Blaze stuff and you know what I mean shut up yeah um what is it it's two right so I think we're gonna go like this and we're gonna take a bunch of these with us there bam should I just make a stack you know what yeah we'll just make a stack guys We'll make up a stack. I'm gonna finish that off and make a whole stack and what we don't use, uh, we can use, well, we're gonna need some for the end portal anyways. Um, we're gonna use for other things, okay? It's gonna be a thing. But we definitely, I'm gonna take an extra stack for traveling purposes. Um, we definitely need one because we're gonna make a big machine and I don't want it at my main portal because I wanna decorate that eventually. So I'm gonna get like, you know, food and my fire gear and fire potions and all that kind of stuff ready. And I'll be Arby's. Stop staring at me. What's your problem, dude? These idiots. All right, guys, so um, we're, I still gotta run the track for this section, by the way, but we're in the, the part of the tunnel that goes to the ice bike biome and the reason for that is I figured that's probably the best direction to head off do I still have an ender chest here no really what's wrong with me that's fair food and stuff but no one don't worry boo boo we're in the process of building a home for you we're gonna make a lovely place with snowmen where I can farm their snows and stuff and things and you can come and be their friend. Okay, boo-boo? Yes, it'll be epic, boo-boo. So let's just trade this up and put this away. I thought for sure I had a spare ender chest here. I guess not. Anyways, um, I got some fire potions, our fire gear, some sugar, saddles, obsidian, just in case, you know, we find any reason for it. We've got, you know, our fireworks mm. and all that stuff. Spare bed. Actually, we're going to bust out the spare bed, I think. And, yeah. We're going to head on our merry way here. I figure this, because it's so far um, south compared to where... Is it south? I don't even remember. I believe it's south. 
from our actual location. So it should take us like our spawn location. So it should take us away from spawn to a new stronghold if we try and find one out here is what I'm hoping. Yeah. So I guess we start by Well, I guess we know it's out in this early direction. So you guys know how this plays. Yeah, definitely out in this early direction. I'm gonna be doing lots of this. Running along ever so far. Hopefully I do see a, sh uh, cause you can't really throw these with elytra and stuff. And there's a chance we might have to cross ocean. So, you know, I don't really, <gasps> Are those different colored bunnies? Oh, we need that guy right there. We need him. Dude, if if it was not, if the mission was not something else, you would be coming with us. Watch this be the first time in Minecraft I run into an actual killer bunny and it kills my face. That looks like, yep, I knew it was going to go to lava. Let's, uh, uh, we'll see it at night. Oh, we got to come back out this way to get, see, like, yeah, I'm not going to bring one of my good horses because there's a chance we might have to go definitely in this direction. Sweet, we didn't lose that one. I didn't even check to see if we lost the last two. I'm going to be watching for a killer bunny. Has anybody, let me know in the comments, have any of y'all ever encountered a killer bunny? Um, Mesa? Why do I have a feeling we're headed towards the witch farm? I haven't compared the coordinates or anything. I just have this weird feeling. Which... Um, yeah, I think we are headed towards the witch farm. Dang it, Bobby. Okay, let's get these on our hotbar. And... See how far we can get. Yes! Skills, baby skills okay this is cool um i think we are headed in the direction yeah the witch farm is like 2000 3000 or something i don't want to disturb this this is cool i love like i i try to avoid in this world generating too much um brand new terrain because it's going to be such a long-term world as we update versions. You know what I mean? I, did I? Huh, not too bad. I was hoping to get shallower. I want to actually, you know, have some new terrain to generate without going out crazy, crazy far. Which way are we going now? Looks like I got to build a boat, peoples. Found the spot, guys. I already had one failed attempt because, um, I think this is forest. Yeah, forest. So lots of trees. Um, yeah, found a little cave, got some gold, you know, nothing big. But they seem to be going right here. So, um, let's just do that and let's take a screenshot. And let's hope this is the spot. They seem to be going, like, right here. I'm hoping. Let's just, let's do one of those. I forget what level they're at. Isn't it like 20 or something like that? Yeah, I already used up a bunch of tort. There we go. We got it. Yep, we're in. We are in, people. We are in. Yes. Suck it, freaking stupid monster blocks. I brought my silky touch. Ah, we're in. Um, let's maybe take a moment here and... Uh, let's 
maybe take a moment here and go like so and take the stuff that's valuable and go like so I guess we'll we'll keep that yeah why not here we'll we'll leave an extra stack of bricks um I'll always take dirt I believe we could well no we'll keep the eyes of ender no we're gonna have to take this out anyways so let's just go like that and let's make up a bunch of torches and let's go check it out peoples oh yeah let's get that out we're in That's, I love it when the first thing I see is a torch. Even though I know I haven't been here, you know, it's like, wait, have I been here? Whoa, holy skeletons. Come on, suckers. Holy skeleton crazy. Did you guys fight each other? There we go. Fight each other. Okay, creepers? Creepers? No? Creepers be creeping? Creepers be creeping? I... I hear an endermite. Oh, no, I don't hear an endermite. That was easy, guys. We found that right quick. Okay, let's, uh... There. I don't care about you, because everything in here is dying anyways. Sweet, guys. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Sweet emotion. Okay, let's uh, let's just. I might want that lava. You never know, right? You never know. Okay, so let's do an F two here. Two thousand sixteen. Yeah, we're not even that far off from the um apples. It, could we get like? some real blocks and stuff and things please for the love of Christ why do I always get crap like that seriously I just want a real reward anything stairs That's a little weird. When you see torches, it's like, but I haven't been here yet. Yeah, like, what's up with that? Oh, I see a guy. Any goodies? 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 No goodies. No goodies. No goodies. Dang it, Bobby! Where's the goodies at? Where's he coming from? Weird. From the other side of this wall, I can hear him. Okay, which way do we go that we haven't been? Looks like we haven't checked out this early to... Floating torch! Ooh, 
Ooh, this could be... Oh, it's just a square room. Okay, I'll be back. See if anything interesting happens. Found the library. See if we get anything good up in here. I don't go... Oh, I, part of me does care about the cobwebs. I should leave it and come back later. Any good hidden loot? Chesticles? I hear lots of lava. Chesticles. Um, eh, not bad, I guess. Compass to go to spawn. Yeah, we'll clear this out on another day. It's not what we're here for today. I just wanted to see what kind of loot was in this one. Um, where's the other one? There should be one down here somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. Stupid stuff and things. Okay, aha, there it is. What do we got? Knock back two, fire protection four, respiration three. We'll just leave that stuff here. Here, take this. I don't need any of, take a leaf. I'll clear it out on another day. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep looking. I kind of made my way, whoops, part way up here. See if there's anything good. And yeah, this had bunk. Yay, some bread. Why do I feel like... Yeah, I've been I've been down here. Okay. So I think I'm starting to go in circles already. This one is pretty big though. It goes right down to bedrock. Where's this go? Yeah. Yeah. None too exciting. So, yeah, I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm not going to lie. Um it's a really big fortress, but it was pretty freaking lame to be honest with you um i got one good book had efficiency four and mending on it so like i'll use that to make an efficiency five pick but that's it man that's all this it's big it's huge and it looks like there's a wicked caving area around it so we might check it out sometime in future for diamonds but that's it so what I'm doing is I'm putting the portal back here and we're going to take a snapshot right there because that's the coordinates we're going to want. The looking at that center block right there. So 2026-1622. That is going to be... Because since we broke the bed a few times, I figured, you know what? Rather than going through the portal and generating the portal, we're just going to go this way because we brought all the things. You know what I mean? It just makes it easier. Snowmen are going crazy. And then we can go home and figure out how to get back from there. Put our eyes under and that kind of stuff and get geared up. I didn't know if I was going to sleep on the way for sure or not, but we did. And since we broke our bed, when we go through this portal, we'll go right back to spawn, right? Whoops, I didn't mean to. Oh, yeah, we'll go back to spawn and that's the first time I've ever spawned up here, guys. Like, the first time. Which side do we want? That's cool. I've never spawned up here. Hey guys, how you doing? Which side? Can we see which side we want to go down here? Um, I'm having trouble really seeing much in the way of light. It's a nice view up here, isn't it guys? Yeah, I know. You guys got the penthouse. Spoiled jerks. Okay, well... I think with where our render distance is, we're not going to see squat, so let's just YOLO it. 
Creepers? Creepers? Don't blow up my stuff, creepers. Okay, no, we're good. So, yeah, give me a minute. Let's see if we can figure out how to get a uh, railway out there. All right, guys. So, um, if we look at F3, we want to be... I did the math divide by 253 by 208. So, 70 blocks or so in that early direction. Now, I could go out that way, but the thing is... If I take it out this way, we're going up like 70 blocks, 80 blocks. Yeah, we're going up over 80 blocks because I would want to take it out from here. And then we're going to have to like hang a UE anyways. So I don't know. I might just go straight out this way. What we're going to have to do is I'm going to have to stop doing these um like lazy intersections with the lamps and put a real one in i wanted to see though this was gray yeah it's gray so i actually think i'm gonna get started on this tonight guys um just because this is a project i know i there's tons of projects where I'll I'll start it and we never get it done but this is one of those ones I've been thinking about doing a duper for a while and with 1.12 coming it's like uber important so I'm thinking I'm gonna bust out the gear here and yeah one I'll take all three what the heck? I'll take all three. Resistance potions, just in case. And I'm going to get started on this because there's no time like the present. All right, guys, she's done. I couldn't get 32 block distance here, so I split the difference. Um, It would have worked out to 35 blocks if I only put one column. So I'm going to split the difference because I would assume at some point I might want to send mine carts full of sand and powdered concrete back from here. In addition to filling my inventory full of... You could send mine carts full of shulker shells. Oh my god. We need to go to the end and get more shulker shells, man. You could send mine carts full of shulker boxes and an inventory full of shulker boxes and an ender chest full of shulker. That would be epic. Wow. So, yeah, anyways, um, I want to keep under the 32 block so that, you know, I can send full mine carts no problem. So these are at 24, no biggie. And for now, I don't even like, I still gotta make the glass and you know, redstone, glowstone. I'm not even worried about it today because realistically, if we take the cart out there, I get off the cart and it's a walk. Oh, sorry, it's past bacon's bedtime. It's literally a hop, skip, and a jump over here to the portal. I set it up. Like I said, we still got a glass and all. Maybe our flame. I don't know. We might do something different. Who knows? We might do something different here. But it's lined up perfectly. We've got enough room in here for storage and future expansion. Now I just have to have a look at... Uh, the duplicator, this is gonna be fun. We're actually gonna have to remove these blocks for the project um, so we can push the sand or gravel or powdered concrete up against the side of the portal blocks. Yeah, it'll be, it's gonna be good times, guys. It's gonna be good times. So we're gonna have to clear out a huge room. I don't even think we're decorating it now. You know that? I kinda think we'll dupe a bunch of blocks first and then it might be cool to do this room in the new powdered concrete. Like it really might. Yeah. 
just this weird portal in the middle with a bunch of redstone pushing it in and a bunch of uh, walls, guys. That would be awesome. So I'm glad we found this. I definitely want to get a jump on this. I am getting sick of mining sand and our sand quarry is kind of at the point that I don't want to dig that much more. I'd like to run the, the water through it to get the lake thing going on and make it beautiful again in case we ever want to build it in that area. So yeah, I think we're we're about at the stage in the game where no more of this stupid mining sand for days on end every time Bacon wants a big project. We're going to build a generator. We're going to dupe it and the powdered concrete by the butt loads. And then once we get into 1.12, I'll show you guys the smart way to make the actual concrete for your builds. Because so far, everybody I see building big crazy machines and stuff and trying to find quick ways to mine out concrete, they're all being stupid. But I'm not going to tell you why till later. Anyways, guys. Smash that like if you enjoyed the episode to help others like yourself who might enjoy the content find the channel. And if you're new and you haven't already, hit that subscribe for more videos, peoples. Thanks for watching. Bye.